How many times have you been managing a project for several months only to discover that two key stakeholders have completely different ideas of what the project is all, all about? They assume different things. Stakeholder number one thinks that the project is about fixing defects in the accounts receivable system. Stakeholder number two thinks that we're simply adding features to the same system. Hi guys, I'm Harry Hall at theprojectriskcoach.com and creator of the Project Risk Management Academy. So let's take some time today to talk about high-level assumptions and risks. First of all, what is an assumption? An assumption is a factor in the planning process that's considered to be true, real, or certain without proof or demonstration. So people hear different things, don't they? And they're getting information from different sources. They're in different meetings. Uh, they hear different things, and they assume that what they hear is true, that it's fact. <laughs> and that's not always the case, is it? And so what is the relationship between assumptions and risk? Well, assumptions can give rise to risk if the assumptions are faulty. And so what can we do about this? Well, a couple of things that I would encourage. Early in your projects, be sure that you're interviewing key stakeholders. And one of the questions that I like to ask these stakeholders is, hey, what are your assumptions going into this project? What are you assuming that this project is about? And I'll also ask, what do you think others are assuming to be true about this project? So we can capture those assumptions in an assumption log. Furthermore, uh, what I would encourage is that you create a project charter. And in the project charter, we want to be sure that we're including assumptions, these high-level assumptions, as well as high-level risks. Now, again, what is a risk? A risk is an uncertain event or condition that if it occurs, may have a positive or negative impact on one or more of the project objectives. So back to the example that I opened with, if this key stakeholder uh, has the notion that this project's about fixing software defects, when in fact it's really about adding features, at the point in time that that key stakeholder finds this out, that individual may have the power and the influence to change the project. Have you had this happen <laughs> before? I've had it happen uh, certainly in my career. And so they step in, they insist a change uh, to the scope of the project, the direction of the project. And this is an example of risk, uncertain events or conditions that when they occur now is having a negative effect. Sometimes it may be having a positive effect on one or more of the project objectives. So I hope this has been helpful to you. If you'd like to dig a little deeper into the topic of project risk management, consider joining me in the Project Risk Management Academy. You can find information about that at projectriskcoach.com forward slash academy.